Hey guys, it's Michelle here coming at you with another dessert video. Today I am going to be making four layer cheesecake. It is so delicious, one of my favorite desserts that I've made this season and I hope you enjoy it. So to begin, you're just going to preheat the oven to 350 and then you're going to take a pan. I'm not sure of the size, I'll write it all down below as usual. I want to say 8 by 13 but that could be wrong. 9 by 13 yes. And you're going to spray it with some Pam or you can use butter or Crisco or whatever you use to grease your pan. And you're just going to set it aside. Then you're going to start to work on your first layer of the cheesecake which is actually going to be a red velvet cake. So in a small bowl you're just going to mix together the dry ingredients, so flour, and try to do it a little bit more <laughs> eloquently than I did. I got it all over the counter. Um, so you're going to do a cup and a half of flour and some cocoa powder and a little bit of salt. Then you just whisk it up together and put it aside so we can start working on the rest of the ingredients. So in a large bowl you're going to add one and a half sticks of unsalted butter along with some powdered sugar and you're just going to cream that up and once you have like a nice fluffy mixture you're going to add some food coloring. Now the recipe I think set like a tablespoon but it's up to you and how red you want your cake to be so um, I just eyeballed it I kind of put some in then mixed it and if I wanted the red to be a little bit more bright I just added some more so it's totally up to your discretion um, and once you're finished mixing all of that in you're gonna mix it in really good and then you could start to add the like flour mixture that we made earlier so don't add it all at once just do a little bit at a time so I did it like in three sections and once I had mixed it all in I I just put it in the baking pan and baked it in the oven. So once it's finished baking, you're going to want to let it cool. And I let mine cool for about an hour. Um, since the rest of the layers are like cold stuff, like whipped cream and stuff, if you don't let it cool properly, then, you know, the whipped cream can melt. So I let mine cool for at least an hour. And during that time, I began to work on the second layer, which was the actual cheesecake filling. So to make the cheesecake, I just added some powdered sugar and a stick of cream cheese and I just blended it together. Now once that was all mixed up, I just added a little bit of peppermint extract and some Cool Whip. Now if you don't like mint, you can skip this step, but for me personally, I love peppermint and I just felt like it added just like a festive and holiday taste to it. Um, I always think of like a candy cane and mint around the holidays, so I was really happy with how this tasted. It was also very refreshing because mint is very cooling and it kind of reminded me of the peppermint bark cheesecake from Cheesecake Factory, which is so freaking good. So once you're finished mixing it all together, you're just going to put it on top of the cake layer and then just put it in the freezer while you make the next layer. So the third layer is actually a layer of pudding. And I just got some of this Hershey's vanilla pudding and to it I added some milk. It actually tells you what to do on the box, like the instructions. Um, and then once I mixed that together, I added some green food coloring because the colors for Christmas are red and green. Um, so it took quite a bit of food coloring to get it the exact color that I want. Of course, you can determine what that is for you. And once that was done, I just put that on top of my cheesecake layer and then I put it in the freezer once again for about 10 minutes. Finally, it's time to add your last layer, which is pretty much your toppings. It's just a layer of Cool Whip along with some marshmallows, some M&Ms, and then some colorful sprinkles. And then there you have it, guys. You're just going to put it in the refrigerator for at least three hours. Now, if you can let it sit overnight, it's even better. I actually cut mine the next day and it was so good like my husband doesn't even like mint and he like went in on this dessert we both really really love it i am planning to make it for my own little christmas gathering that i'm having with some friends of course if you try it out i would love to see pictures or just comment down below telling me how you like it and uh, yeah i will see you guys in the next video i hope that all is well happy holidays once again and take care bye guys